Hello, Namaste. My name is Hariyar and I am the entertainer and I welcome you to yet another video on my YouTube channel and with yet another book review. And this time it's a celebrity book by the legendary cricketer Guntapa Vishwanath who has written his autobiography Wrist Assured along with veteran cricket writer R. Kaushik. Unputdownable book for me. It was, I got totally gripped by it as I started reading it. I started understanding the journey of the great Gundapa Vishwanath, uh, from a domestic player to a star international batsman, along with Sunil Gavaskar, the mainstay of Indian batting through the 70s and a little part of the 80s when Vishwanath featured in the Indian cricket team. And the book captures the essence of the character of Vishwanath as it displayed on the field and while he was batting. There is nothing camouflaging about the great Vishy sir. He has said it as it is. What he believed in, what are his convictions around playing in, those, in that era, what does he think about the contemporary cricket setup. Everything comes out very candidly and it's the character of the man. He, he never did anything. He was very honest. He played honestly and everybody recalls the Golden Jubilee Test in 1980 against England where he recalled Bob Taylor, uh, because he was actually declared out when Vishy Sir felt he was actually not out and he recalled him and that cost India the match because along with Ian Botham, they put up a great partnership. I read somewhere that Vishy Sir was asked once if given an opportunity, would he do that all over again? He said, yes, I would do that all over again. And he writes in the book also, what is the point of winning a test match when you know that the person was not out but was declared um, out in a wrong way. That just goes to show the level of integrity uh, Vishy Sir practiced during his playing days. A master technician, an amazing stroke player, uh, amazing wrist work, uh, and a short statured man, also called as a little master along with Gavaskar. Uh, and just imagine those days they were able to play the fearsome fast bowling of the West Indians or the Australians or the Englishmen without any protective headgear. And they were able to drop the ball right in front of the feet, defending the bouncers. And amazing elegance and the man to go to whenever India was in trouble. So Vishy sir captures his entire journey. And for me, it was like reliving my childhood, going through the era uh, that we all grew up in India through the 70s and the 80s. Cricket was very different at that point of time. There was no great one-day cricket happening. There wasn't much, there was hardly, there was no concept of T20 cricket. It was all about test cricket. And test cricket till today remains the real test for any player. You ask any contemporary great player, they want to excel in test cricket. How much ever runs they may score or how much ever wickets they may take in the one-day format or in the T20 format. And people like Bundapa Vishwanath, they epitomize the essence and the beauty of test cricket. Playing cricket in those days was, test cricket wasn't that easy because uh, you didn't have that kind of technology at that time. You didn't have that kind of analysis of your batting. And Vishy Sir, so beautifully in this book, talks about the technicalities of batting, the technicalities of bowling, the technicalities of fielding, the technicalities of the game as a whole in a very simple and in a lucid manner, which any common man can easily understand. And the master technician that he was as a batsman, he has brought out that same technical quality in, his, in writing his autobiography also. He candidly shares his joys, his disappointments, the letdowns that he felt in his career, and uh, he's, he's paid glorious tributes to his colleagues who played with him. And he has also paid tremendous tribute to his captain, Tiger Pataudi, whom he feels was played a, had a huge influence uh, on him growing up as a, uh, as a cricketer. I think it's one of the finest cricket autobiographies that you can get your hands around. I have a fantastic collection of cricket books and this goes right up there. And uh, always been a fan of Gundapa Vishwanath since childhood. Always been a fan of Sunil Gavaskar, Kapil Dev, because these were our heroes when we were growing up. And even today, they are celebrated heroes, celebrated cricketers. And you will know just why when you read Rist Assured by the great Vishy Sir. It's a must-read book for inspiration. 
uh, Vishwanath sir holds the record for having scored 14 test centuries and India never lost a test whenever he scored 100. And uh, I remember the 1981 Melbourne test. You remember Sunil Gavaskar tried to stage a walkout because he was upset with the Australian players' behavior. Vishwanath had scored a century in that test match and India bowled out Australia for less than 100 in the fourth innings to win a historic test at the MCG. So he recounts many of such innings that he played. Uh, and I think one of the most delightful chapters is when he describes the 97 not out at Chepok against the fearsome West Indies, which is celebrated as Gundapa Vishwanath's finest test innings ever, in a way. And uh, also he talks about why it is important to score runs for the team uh, whatever the numbers may be, 40, 50, 60, 70, not necessarily hundreds, because as a country, we have so much obsession with people scoring centuries. But he talks about innings like the 97 or some other innings where he scored a 60 or a 70 and that contributed to the team cost. An absolute gem of a human being, an absolute gem of a cricketer, a professional. Uh, and uh, we are so grateful uh, to Vishy, sir, for the amazing the career that he had and the contribution that he made in evolving Indian test cricket from a certain level to uh, uh, another level. Highly recommended book if you're a cricket connoisseur, if you're a cricket fan. And uh, it's, 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 it's a rare privilege to get insights about cricketers who are legends and then they write about it. It, it's come, it comes straight from his heart. The language, the wordings, the examples, the storytelling, everything comes from his heart, just as the way he played his uh, cricket. So do pick up Rista Short and do read it and do post your comments about this video, about this particular book. I will be coming back with many more book reviews uh, as we go along. But yes, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I look forward to hearing from you. Till we meet again, God bless you and do take good care of yourself. Thank you very much.